So in the late adulthood, the benefits of older persons or older adults uh, during their age. So many people have hobbies that uh, they enjoy. So however, uh, while working full-time and raising their families, adults don't often get to spend uh, much time doing what they love. So once they are retired or they become a senior citizen, uh, seniors may hone their beloved crafts or they learn uh, new skills. And some even turn their projects into lucrative businesses for supplemental income. So one of uh, the benefits of being an older uh, person is uh, relaxation. So the benefits of reaching um, 65 years old or older in their age also include having the ability to engage in whatever activities that they uh, choose. So seniors can work, uh, they can play or do nothing at all on any given day. So what uh, older adults can learn skills in, late, uh, in their late life so although learning some skills may take longer than any uh, younger adults, and also although frequency of the sexual activity that they have may decline in older adulthood, and many um, older adults continue to enjoy uh, physically and emotionally fulfilling sex life as well kung, um, in their late adulthood because um, they are not busy na compared um, in their middle adulthood. So, the benefits of sexual activity include better sleep, uh, less stress, more positive mood, and decreased marital satisfaction. So, in older adults, uh, they are capable of uh, learning new skills even, in late, uh, even late in life. So, though learning may take uh, longer than for uh, younger adults, and also yung uh, wisdom and creativity often naga continue to the very end of life. So as they age, people are generally more satisfied with their lives and more optimistic about uh, growing older. So yun, um, another example then is yung they need to exercise and even a moderate amount each day na makahelp uh, for them to stay active and independent and maintain their uh, positive mood. So it can make even the frailest older person stronger and more fit. So, uh, they need to continue to uh, maintain a healthy uh, lifestyle and make adjustment for any changes that, uh, like for example, yung hearing nila, vision, flexibility, at saka yung strength. So, they continue to engage in routine preventive health behaviors like mag magkaroon ng immunizations, sa makaprevent, makaprevent ng mga uh, diseases na mag-occur. Uh, especially na yung mga older adults, they are very prone sa mga diseases. So, as they, uh, as our parents or yung mga lola at lola naga grow older na, um, they may enjoy a lot of uh, new opportunities such as achieving new goals or uh, building more relationships. So, even with the life's challenges, the seniors can find any positive in aging. So this include the benefits that are mentioned. So first, they have more free time and retiring allows them more to spend their days doing things that they always wanted to try but never had the time to do. So they can stay up a little later at night and sleep without uh, worrying about uh, being late for work. Kasi nga, di ba, retired na sila. Tsaka they are, um, kumbaga, hindi na sila capable into doing uh, such um, tough work kasi 65 years older na sila. And seniors can also schedule vacations and anytime they want to without worrying about their bosses or their work, approving or denying the time off. So many of the benefits of aging were enjoyed most when seniors are able to live at home uh, independently, peacefully. You know. So many older adults are choosing to age in place so, and some need a helping hand to continue uh, living at home safely and comfortably. So another is they have um, fewer allergies and infections because um, after fighting off uh, colds and flu, they develop yung mga allergies over the years. Yung immune system na remember ng uh, mga recurring invaders, so which naga reduce siya ng risk of some uh, illnesses. So uh, as a result, yung body nila maka fight ng infections better. But still, um, hindi rin siya yung ma sure or ma ensure na talaga ma reduce or ma anayan ma sana yung immune system na mga matatanda uh, kasi since they are um, older adults na yung immune system is mismo naghihina din and 
Next is yung time spent with grandchildren. So spending time with young people can keep seniors active and boost their cognitive health. So one benefit associated with aging is becoming a grandparent. So most seniors have the opportunity to see their children become parents, which brings them joy and someone new to love. So even if you and your siblings uh, don't have children, your parent could interact with other kids and family or the community and form loving relationships which make it for them to be more healthy because um, the well-being in life is um, yun nga, healthy. And increased certainty then. Adults know what they want in their uh, golden years. So they have the confidence to go after uh, yung mga, those things. Uh, have they lived through different eras that yung mga seniors merong advantage because they can use their knowledge when attempting goals and trying um, new adventures. So experience is always the best teacher and seniors have experience in different aspects in life. And yung mga older adults din is they have more wisdom. Growing older means your loved one has lived through many historical events. So he or she can share those memories with you, your siblings, with your family members. So the more they uh, the more experienced they are, the more wisdom uh, seniors have when it comes to facing um, life's challenges. They also have uh, better social skills, so interacting with others is less challenging, challenging for uh, older adults because they develop strong communication, so skills and strategy over the years, so they know what to expect in a certain situation and typically have appropriate responses. So yung mga loved one, yung loved one natin ng mga older adults na had uh, decades to develop social skills. So he or she is more aware of what is suitable and what topics our language or language is to avoid. So yung nursing implications naman sa mga matalanda, yung mga oral, uh, older adults, which is considered yung mga 65 uh, years old and older, is uh, as a nurse you should identify first yung mga factors that uh, increase the level of fall risk kasi um, assess yung environment environment ng patient or yung mga factor na associated sa uh, increased risk doon sa fall for fall and secure a wristband identification to warn the healthcare provider to implement fall precaution on the patient and also uh, i-review yung mga hospital protocol regarding sa pag-transfer ng patient Keep the patient's bed as well in the lowest position at all times para uh, ma-prevent yung risk na, na mahulog yung patient kapag um, disabled siya or nangula siyang ability na mag-take care sa sarili niya since matanda na siya. And answer call light as soon as possible. Dito yung para sa mga emergency. Use side, rail, side rails on bed as needed. So advise the patient to wear shoes or slippers with non-sleep soles when walking para ma-avoid yung mas light at mag-prevent ng um, complication or injury doon sa mga matatanda. And also, uh, orient the patient to the surroundings so avoid rearranging the furniture in the room. Prevent yung mga hazard, hazard risk, mga ganun, hazards. And encourage the family or any other significant others to stay with the patient at all times. So ito yung kung nandun sa hospital para may kasama yung mga matatanda. Hindi pwede nang hayaan lang natin sila na sila lang. And then ensure that the patient's eyesight is regularly checked and explain the importance of wearing eye glasses if needed. And make sure yung mga glasses nila and hearing aids is um, wear nila pala parati na, na gamit nila parati ka. Instruct the patient how to ambulate at home. So this include yung safety measures uh, such as yung handrails sa uh, bathroom. Tsaka encourage the patient to engage in a program of uh, regular exercise and gait training. Yun lang for uh, mga matatanda, importante na i-encourage mo sila, help mo i-assist mo to um, and educate as well na kung uh, as, as possible or as um, optional kung ano, kailangan nilang mag-exercise tapos kumain mga healthy foods for them to ano, nang ma-prevent dun sa mga um, diseases at saka also na ma-promote yung healthy lifestyle at well-being nila.